We all needed to survive and thrive clean drinking water. Today I'm going to be comparing 10 popular brands of bottled water. You're going to see testing for TDS, total dissolved solids, pH, as well as 15 other tests. The purpose of this video isn't to say which one of these bottled waters is best, but to provide you with reliable testing so you can decide which brand is best for you. Some people prefer to drink higher pH water, some prefer lower TDS to ensure that the water is high purity and has very low risk of chemical contamination. Some brands being tested are spring water and some are purified water. The brands we're going to be testing are Essentia, Fiji Water, Smart Water, Aquafina, Dizani, Evian, Nestle, Zephyr Hills, Crystal Geyser, and Walmart's Purified Water. For the first test, I'm going to take this TDS meter and measure the total dissolved solids in each one of the bottles of water. The tester is going to be looking for dissolved solids measuring 2 microns or smaller. Now just to give you a quick demonstration, I'm going to take some distilled water and I'm going to pour it into this cup. Distilled water is very high purity. Usually the reading will be between 0 and 1. Now rainwater is also very low TDS. It's very similar to distilled water. The difference is when the raindrops fall from the clouds on the way down, it picks up dust and pollutants. And that causes the TDS of the water to have an average reading of around 20. It may be a little higher or it may be a little bit lower. Seawater due to the high salt content as well as minerals is going to give you a very high TDS reading between 20 and 40,000 parts per million. Let me take some tap water, put it in here, we'll take a measurement. And then you can see 117. Even though the tap water tested at 117 parts per million, which is well below the 500 parts per million set by the EPA, we have no idea what the dissolved solids are in this water. And a lot of people prefer to drink water with very low TDS because it helps eliminate the chance of chemicals being in the water. It's true you're going to miss out on some salts, but if you eat properly, you're going to pick up the salts in your food as well as minerals that have been removed from the water. You can have high levels of lead, sulfates, nitrates. So in this video I'm going to be taking a test strip and we're going to check not only the tap water but every other brand of water I just showed you so we can compare each one. Before the TDS is measured for each one of the bottles of water I'm going to take the end of this, dip it in distilled water, shake it off. The water that's in this little cup is going to be dumped out. I'm going to wipe everything dry with a paper towel after rinsing it with distilled water. Let's get started with the first bottle. Okay, Essentia first. And this has a reading of 58 parts per million. Now Crystal Geyser Mountain Spring Water. 116 very similar to my tap water, Nestle Pure Life. 32 parts per million, that's the lowest so far. Now Dizani. Dizani is 23 parts per million, taking the lead from Nestle. Now Evian. This one's the highest so far at 298 parts per million, and that's probably due to the mineral content in the water. When I do the next test, we're going to be checking for all kinds of things in the water to make sure that it's safe. Now, Fiji water, which I happen to like. 148 parts per million. Now, Zephyr Hills. I'll drink Zephyr Hills water, but I'm not really a big fan of it because there's a certain taste to it. And you can see 160 parts per million. Now purify drinking water from Walmart. 30 parts per million. Now Aquafina. Wow, Aquafina is showing 3 parts per million. Extremely low, very pure just a touch more dissolved solids than distilled water. And the last one, Smart Water. And this one has 25 parts per million. 
Okay, let's take a look at the results. And as you can see, the Aquafina came in the lowest at three parts per million. And the last one is Evian at 298 parts per million. In order to check the pH and everything else that's in the water, we're going to be using these 16 parameter water test strips. In case you're wondering, this is brand new. I just purchased it and you can see the bottom of the box right here. Results in seconds. Professional grade of simple instructions, EPA comparison. What I'll be doing is taking a test strip out of this tube for each water sample. I'm going to submerge the test strip into the water sample for two seconds, pull it out, shake off the excess, and then immediately compare the colors on the test strip to the colors on this container. So to ensure fair testing for each one of the different brands, I'm going to hold the strip right next to the bottle and take a photograph under the exact same lighting at the exact same time. We'll be testing the water for lead content, iron, sodium chloride, nitrate, the pH, hardness, zinc, free chlorine, hydrogen sulfide, fluoride, copper, total chlorine, nitrate, alkalinity, sulfate, and manganese. We will not be testing the water samples for bacteria. You can see the test strips are sealed inside this pouch. Let me open it up. And here's a close-up look at the test strip. Just like the previous test, the test tube is going to be rinsed with distilled water before pouring in the next sample. I'm going to start with the Essentia water first. Let's fill this up. Okay, the testing is going to be done just like this one. One one thousand, two one thousand out. Shake, 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 shake. And then I'm going to hold it against here. And you can see in this image the picture that I just took. I'm going to repeat the process now for each one of the different brands. And at the very end, we'll take a look at the results. Now Crystal Geyser. Nestle. Dasani. Evian. Fiji. Zephyr Hills, Walmart Brand, Aquafina, Tap Water, and Smart. Okay, after a very careful examination of the test strips, I was able to determine that the hydrogen sulfide, iron, copper, lead, manganese, total chlorine, free chlorine, nitrate, nitrite, sulfate, zinc, and fluoride were very similar and negligible amounts. As for the pH of the water, Essentia, Nestle, Dasani, Zephyr Hills, Walmart, Aquafina, and Smart were all within a tight pH range between 6.6 .6 and 7. The interesting thing is Essentia claims to have a 9.5 pH or higher. And on the side of the bottle it says because this water is so pure you cannot test it using test strips, which I find very hard to believe. Crystal Geyser and Evian came in right around 7.3 for the pH, and Fiji just a little bit lower, around 7 or 7.1. When it comes to water hardness, eight brands were very close in their readings, between 75 and 85 parts per million. The two brands of water that were slightly softer was the Essentia at 50 parts per million, and Crystal Geyser at 60 parts per million. When testing for sulfates, Nestle, Dasani, Zephyr Hills, Smart, they came in between 1,200 and 1,300 parts per million. Walmart, Aquafina, Essentia, and Crystal came in slightly lower, between 1,000 and 1,100 parts per million. If you don't want any sulfates in your water, you're definitely going to want to choose either Evian, that came in at 20, extremely low, or Fiji at 50 parts per million. Testing for sodium chloride or salt, all the brands tested very similar, between 0 and 20 parts per million low levels. People like to drink alkaline water. Essentia, Nestle, Dasani, Zephyr Hills, Walmart, Aquafina, and Smart came in very low below the testing range, 10 to 15 parts per million. Crystal Geyser, Evian, Fiji, and Zephyr Hills all came in in the middle of the ideal range between 95 and 100 parts per million. Now a quick look at my tap water. And you can see the pH 6.9, that's in line with the majority of the bottles of water that I tested that were purified water. Hardness, 80 parts per million, in line with the majority of the bottled waters that I tested. 
Lead, a very small amount between 0 and 5 parts per million. Sulfate, very similar to the bottled water at 1,200 parts per million. Fluoride, estimating around 1 part per million. Sodium chloride, between 0 and 5. Total alkalinity, not bad, 85 parts per million. Total chlorine, low, 0.8 parts per million. And free chlorine at 0.2 parts per million. All the other tests were negligible, so the tap water in my house is not too bad. And guys, that is it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.